Hi guys, it's Nicole here again with Mommy Tips by Cole and today's video is pretty much geared towards all you new mothers or mothers to be out there. This video is going to be about my newborn must-haves, newborn care must-haves. So I wanted to share the items that I pretty much use during the births of all three of my kids. Um, when they're first born, you'll pretty much be at home. Well, at least for myself, I was pretty much at home at least for the first couple of weeks. So the first item that I think you definitely must have is an item to take care of your baby's um, umbilical cord stump. You need to have that area, um, keep that area dry, and in order to do so, either use rubbing alcohol, either they come in, in a bottle and you can you just use a cotton ball swab just to, um, you know, wipe the area um, to, to keep it dry um, and that helps it to eventually fall off within at least within a week or, or or so just depends on the baby I know for my kids it fell off at different times so or you can get these um, alcohol swabs and then they just come in these little and you can buy them in a box set and then these are just individual packed ones and you can just take it out and it looks like this and you can just wipe the area so this is just a quick easy way. And the second must have, this is if you're having a boy. Um, my third child is a boy and he was circumcised. So if your child was circumcised, you, the doctors will tell you or they'll send you home with some white petroleum jelly. And you'll just take a little bit of this and you know just put it on the circumcised area during every, every diaper change. And then the third item that you must must have our nasal aspirators. Um, this is one from the hospital. This is one I bought at Target, and um, definitely you need this to clear out your your baby's nose. Or you can designate one of them to be to clear out um, anything in in the mouth um, while they're newborn, and then one could just be to clear out their nose. Um, you know any excess mucus that's left over either in their nose or sometimes even in their mouth. And on that same note, um, I absolutely love um, baby saline simple simply sick baby simply saline it's a sterile saline nasal mist sometimes maybe depending I guess on the season that they're born their nose might get um, dry and especially when they get sick in the future this is great 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 must-have to have um, you just spray it into their nasal passage and it moistens it and then immediately use the suction to suction out any um, you know excess that's in their nose and especially if it's dry this will keep it moist nice and moist and they, and will enable you to suction their nose during those times that you can't um, get anything out my next must have um, definitely you need to have hand sanitizer as a newborn you're constantly constantly changing their diapers lots of number ones lots of number twos sometimes you'll change their diaper and within 10 seconds or so after you change they're going again so you're constantly having to keep your hands clean and maybe you don't have the time to you know run over to the sink between that quick diaper change so always keep this um, by your changing table um, this is just an up and up brand from Target but any sanitizer will do also on that note since they will be constantly going either number well number one and number two you will definitely need um, diaper cream this is a desitin but anyone any di type of um, diaper cream brand will do either if you're using wipes or a washcloth um, it can get irritated and red so you definitely need to have this on hand to um, put on their bottom to alleviate the um, the redness or any rashes that would develop the next two items I'm gonna mention I don't have any more but pretty much know what they what they look like um, the first one being newborn caps um, being that they're newborn you need to keep their head um, covered because they can get easily cold from any drafts even you know during a warm month um, that first initial um, few days and uh, even weeks for me I always Put, um, caps on them especially after giving them a sponge bath or bathing them definitely always after I dried their hair um, would put the newborn caps on them to keep them warm and then also the mittens are to avoid them from scratching their face and eyes as a newborn their hands are always you know close to their face and you want to avoid them scratching their eyes or, or any part of their face for that matter my first child I practically purchase or put on my registry all kinds of newborn size 
clothes, items, and half of them I didn't even end up using. And I ended up loving this type of um, a sleeper or like a one piece. And it's just, you know, the button up, easy access, the buttons right here, and then their feet are covered so you don't have to worry about putting socks. But the great thing about this type of newborn sleeper is that it has this um, option here to fold over the little sleeve so it acts as a mitten all in one. Being home for those first couple weeks, either um, these one piece sleepers or onesies are the ones that you're gonna be using all the time and have a lot of them on hand because you'll have lots of messy messy diapers and you'll be changing them several times a day believe it or not and for feedings regardless if you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding I've tried all types of um, burp cloths and these are the ones that I have loved the best these really thick ones I think that these are also can be used as cloth diapers for cloth diapering but um I love these for just a burp cloth they're they're so big that you can put them over practically over your chest and your shoulder or you can even um, fold them like so and you need to turn it over if the other side gets dirty and I have had other ones that are like super thin and then it still seeps through onto your clothes um, they'll always be spitting up or um, or whatnot when you burp them, whether you're bottle or breastfeeding. So definitely must, must have. And these come, these I think they're the Gerber brand and they come in like a pack of six or 10 or something like that. When you're in the hospital, they might give you this newborn nursery intake and output continuation sheet. Um, basically, it's just a log to document their, their feedings. Um, if you can see, um, to document the date, the time, the feedings, um, and then the urine or stool, and then I would write like right or left if, because I was breastfeeding, right or left, and for how many minutes. So this was something that I had to do when I'm in the hospital, and more than likely you will have to also. And I continue to do it at home. I just got one of these little five star, and I mentioned this in my um, top breastfeeding tips uh, video. I've used the, this consistently for all three of my kids from birth until now and every time I would run out I would just purchase a new book so for instance let me show you where but this is from when Dylan was born or when he came home and I would just have their initials and then I would document um, right or left breast and um, for the big kids like what they ate and this has been very helpful for me and I just it's just been a habit that has been I'm looking at Dylan because he's sleeping on the monitor but um, this has just been a habit that's been hard to break and I highly recommend this, even if you're not gonna continue doing this till they're a year or past a year, this is very um, important for when um, you first come home. When they're first born, you won't be giving them a full bath, you'll be doing sponge baths, and of course, you'll be using this forever. Um, just get you know a bunch of washcloths, and also hooded towels um, to cover their head and then their body when you give them a bath. Honestly, I think this is more essential than those bathrobes for babies. I've gotten one for each of them as gifts and unfortunately I never really got to use them because I would always wrap them up in their towels right after their baths or sponge baths. I don't have time to put the little robes on them, although they're really cute, but this is more essential than um, a bathrobe. This item is very important to clean their ears and it's the Johnson and Johnson safety swabs and these are not the normal type of q-tips they are specially designed with an ear safe bulb that's what they call it it has this bulb area here so it doesn't go deep into their ear canal and it's very safe and I use this until now even for my elder kids and these are very very important they come in a box of 55 count I haven't seen any larger ones than this but very very important to have um, for your newborn until your kids get older. Definitely need to have um, baby uh, lotion, baby wash, and shampoo, preferably anything that's tear-free. Um, if you wanna just get maybe a bunch of um, gift sets of different brands, um, add to your registry, and then you could just test them out when your baby's born, that's also great. But this is, um, they say that this is number one choice of hospitals, and my hospital, was using this particular brand and they sent me home with a bunch of sample sizes and you know until now I love them and get the jumbo sizes for all of my kids but 
any type will do. Also, you will definitely need um, a comb with these soft bristles for their little heads and they have their soft spots so you don't want to um, you know push anything too hard on that area so this is great for when you're combing on top of the soft spot definitely one with soft bristles and sometimes they'll come in a set like this um, with a bunch of other different um, little trinkets and gadgets to use for your baby and honestly I didn't use all of the items that came in this but this is all but this is very handy to add to your registry you'll never know if you'll need some of the items that are in here and also what comes in here too is um, nail clippers you'll definitely need to be cutting your newborn's nail honestly like when I first cut my first daughter's nails I was terrified and actually my father cut her nails for me for the first time because I was so scared but when I had my second and third you know I was already comfortable with doing so but definitely will have to cut your your baby's nails as a newborn when they first come home their nails will be long um, they would have already grown from being in your womb and they will be super long and you're gonna have to cut them and also as a newborn they're going to start their vaccinations and it's always good to just keep an eye on them when they go when they come home and check their temperature and I love my um, digital thermometer and this is thermoscan by Braun I believe that's how you say it and yeah this is this is wonderful and it's comes with um, a pack of um, disposable covers for this area here and I use this for all three of my kids and love it love it um, you just put it into their ear and you press the button and when it has a long beep it'll tell you the temperature and yeah this has been a lifesaver especially when my kids have all been sick unfortunately definitely definitely recommend if before giving your baby any any type of uh, medications go to your doctor um, but these are the infant drops for generic for Tylenol and Motrin that I've used and I'm using for my son um, currently because depending on the weights is will vary on what amount to give them and you don't want to give them more than they need or under that it wouldn't um, you know help them at all so definitely go to your doctor before giving your baby any type of medication so I hope this video helps all of you new mothers or mothers to be out there um, and if you have any questions or anything that you want to add if you're already um, a mother experienced mother out there um, please leave comments down below and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video